What's up guys? We're here in Hanoi and in this video, we're going to show you our top things to do here as well as some essential travel tips that will help you navigate this busy city. So, hope you enjoy it. Hanoi is the capital city of Vietnam, located in the northern part of the country. It's a chaotic but fascinating city, with motorcycles weaving through bustling traffic and the constant sound of honking horns. It's a blend of both old and modern Vietnam, where ancient pagodas and well-preserved colonial buildings stand alongside tall skyscrapers. When you add to that an excellent food scene, vibrant nightlife and rich cultural heritage, you've got a captivating city. In this video, we highlight 12 of our favorite things to do in Hanoi. Make sure to watch until the end as we also share a few additional things that we learned that will help you plan your trip. Now let's dive in. The Old Quarter is the tourist hub of Hanoi, known for its narrow winding streets and colonial architecture. Here you can find a wealth of hotels, restaurants, bars, travel agencies, and shops. As you navigate the streets of the Old Quarter, the sights, sounds, and aromas will overwhelm your senses. There are also a few key landmarks to visit here, such as St. Joseph's Cathedral and the Heritage House. The latter gives you an opportunity to step back in time as you visit a traditional merchant's house with beautifully decorated rooms. We visited this residence as part of a free walking tour, and we left a link to the one that we booked in the description below the video. When the night falls, it's worth checking out Beer Street, a vibrant hub of drinks and entertainment in the heart of the old quarter. Both tourists and locals flock to this bustling area to immerse themselves in the electric nightlife scene and enjoy the cuisine. This busy street is filled with a wide range of bars, pubs and restaurants. Go on a Friday or Saturday for the best atmosphere with live music and the streets closed to traffic. Located at the edge of the Old Quarter, Huan Kiem Lake holds significant cultural and historical importance. Surrounding the lake is a tranquil park, where you can enjoy a leisurely stroll or simply soak in the peaceful atmosphere. It's a great escape from the bustling streets of Hanoi and takes about 25 minutes if you walk the whole loop without stopping. One of the main attractions at the lake is the Engok Sun Temple, perched on a small island and connected by a small red bridge. Dating back to the 18th century, the temple is dedicated to the Vietnamese leader who defeated the Mongols in the 13th century. Train Street is one of the most popular sites in Hanoi. This small area sees trains pass multiple times per day, with homes and coffee shops lining the tracks. It used to be possible to sip coffee in one of the cafes while waiting for the train to pass by, but unfortunately, due to safety concerns, walking on the tracks is now forbidden. It is still possible to take a picture from one of the intersecting streets, but the entrance is blocked. Adjacent to Train Street, you can find Pung Hung Mural Street, stretching for about 220 meters and showcasing the rich cultural heritage of Hanoi through street art. As you walk along the street, you can find yourself embarking on a journey back in time. You'll be immersed in a beautiful visual storytelling experience that celebrates the city's growth throughout its history. No trip to Hanoi would be complete without seeing the tomb of Vietnam's beloved revolutionary leader, Ho Chi Minh. Foreign tourists and Vietnamese locals queue for hours every morning to pay their respects to his body, which is encased in a glass sarcophagus. You can easily combine your visit with the remainder of monuments in the park, such as Ho Chi Minh Museum, One Pillar Pagoda, and Stilt House. The latter is a small wooden stilt house of two floors where the leader used to live and work. It's a great opportunity to learn about Vietnam's political history. Make sure to wear something that covers your knees when you enter the mausoleum because it's not allowed to come in shorts. I had the same problem and I had to buy like a skirt around the corner for 50,000 dong. For a truly authentic shopping experience, you should head to one of the markets in the city. Dong Xuan is a large indoor market that offers a wide range of goods and products. Here you can find everything from local foods and fresh produce, to clothing accessories and souvenirs. If you're visiting the city during the weekend, you can also visit the weekend night market in the Old Quarter. This market starts from Hangdao Street and stretches to the edge of Dong Xuan Market. It's open on Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 7pm until late. The weekend market caters more towards tourists with traditional Vietnamese crafts, souvenirs, street food and cultural performances. West Lake is Hanoi's largest lake, spanning about 15 kilometers. It's a quiet break from the city where you can go cycling or take a stroll. There are two pagodas to visit at West Lake, and Tran Quoc Pagoda is the most popular one. This Buddhist temple is one of the oldest of its kind and features a stunning seven-story pagoda. It's free to enter, 
but remember to dress conservatively here. The Westlake area also has many restaurants and cafes where you can relax and enjoy the serene surroundings. Thanks to its numerous skyscrapers and lakes, Hanoi is a scenic city when viewed from above. If you're short on time, you can enjoy a sunset from a rooftop bar around Huan Kim Lake. It's a great way to end a busy day of exploring around the old quarter, but for the best views, you should head to Lottie Tower Observation Deck. This slice of modern Vietnam takes you up 65 floors for amazing 360-degree views. When we visited, there were relatively few people and plenty of space at the lounge bar, which offers an incredible sunset view. Hanoi is a real foodie destination with fruits, vegetables and full meals being sold on almost every corner, both in restaurants and on the street. The best way to indulge in the local specialties is to take a street food tour, especially if you're not very familiar with the Vietnamese cuisine yet. Our guide took us to the best local spots that we never would have discovered ourselves. We tried a variety of dishes including summer rolls, egg coffee, ban quan, a banh mi sandwich, and a local favorite called ban cha. This dish of grilled pork and noodles is thought to have originated from Hanoi. We left a link to the food tour that we joined in the description below the video. We also had the chance to talk to our guide about what food you should try first when visiting. One of the most unique things you can do in Hanoi is attending a water puppet show, which is a traditional form of entertainment and cultural expression. The show takes place in a shallow pool of water where skilled puppeteers manipulate puppets with long bamboo rods hidden behind a screen. The puppets glide and dance across the water surface, which represents the rice fields where water puppetry was originally performed. The show tells various stories from Vietnamese folklore, history, and daily life. Accompanied by traditional music and singing, each scene is intricately designed with beautifully crafted puppets. We attended a show at Tong Long Puppet Theatre, which is considered to be the original theatre in the city. They run multiple shows per day. The most interesting place to visit was the Horlo Prison Museum, an important historic site in Hanoi. It was originally built by French colonialists in the late 19th century to jail Vietnamese revolutionaries. Later, it became a place where American prisoners of war were held during the Vietnam War. The museum provides an insight into the harsh realities of war and the resilience of the Vietnamese people. You can see the original cells and prison artifacts from the past, as well as hear stories of the prisoners. A visit here paints a vivid picture of the struggles endured by those imprisoned within its walls. As we promised at the beginning of the video, we'll now share three travel tips for Hanoi. First, you need to cross the streets with confidence in the old quarter. In this area, the streets can be especially overwhelming with constant traffic. Instead of waiting for the right moment to cross, it's best to take the plunge and confidently walk across the street when the vehicles are moving slow. Locals told us to never hesitate, stop, or walk backwards. You have to trust that the drivers will predict and adjust their course accordingly. Looking the driver into the eyes and raising your hand also helps. Second, we recommend exploring on foot or using the Grab app. Many of Hanoi's attractions, especially those in the old quarter, are within walking distance. Exploring the city by foot allows you to soak in the vibrant atmosphere. However, for longer distances, consider using Grab, a ride-hailing app popular in Southeast Asia. You can book a Grab car or even opt for a motorcycle ride, which can navigate through traffic more efficiently. Finally, you should be aware of common scams. While Hanoi is generally safe, it's always wise to be cautious. Some common scams in the city include inflated prices, rigged meters for taxis, fake tour operators, or street vendors giving incorrect change. Always double-check prices, use trusted tour companies, and be attentive with your money to avoid falling prey to scams. Additionally, research and be aware of any new or current scams happening in the area. This was our top selection of things to do in Hanoi. But of course, there are many other activities that are worth checking out if you have more time in the city. We've included a list of those on the screen here for you. If you're planning your Vietnam trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below the video. We also included important links that you'll need for your Hanoi trip in the description, such as a full travel guide with where to stay and eat. We'll catch you on the next adventure.